Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the single phase AC circuits. In the single phase AC circuits, today's topic is behavior of AC through RC series circuit. In the previous class, we have discussed about the RL series circuit. Today we will discuss about the RC series circuit. In the RC series circuit, what is the impedance value we will get? And the, what is the phase angle between voltage and current? And the impedance triangle and the power triangle and the phasor diagrams we will discuss today okay so let's see the diagram of the rc series circuit this is the circuit diagram of rc series circuit here resistor and the capacitor both are connected in series that's why it is called as rc series circuit okay here v is the total voltage we are applying Okay, VR is the voltage across the resistor and VC is the voltage across the capacitor and I is the total current. Okay, now if you see the parameters, V is called as supply voltage. Next, I is called as total current. Next, if we take the VR, VR is the voltage across the resistor. Next, VC, VC is called as voltage across the capacitor vr is the voltage across the resistor and vc is the voltage across the capacitor these are the two, all the parameters in the rc series circuit v is the supply voltage we are giving the ac supply to the rc series circuit if we give the ac supply so what is the behavior of the circuit now we will see here if we see the phasor diagram the phasor diagram of r and the phasor diagram of C, if we combine both the phasor diagram, we will get RC phasor diagram. Here, this is the phasor diagram of R. Next, if we combine phasor diagram of R, and next, this is the phasor diagram of C. Voltage and current, both are in the same phase. This is the phasor diagram of R. And the phasor diagram of capacitor is current leads the voltage by 90 degrees. This is the phasor diagram of capacitor. Next, if we combine phasor diagram of R and phasor diagram of C, we will get phasor diagram of RC. This is the phasor diagram of R and C combined together and we will get one phasor diagram that is called as RC phasor diagram, RC series circuit phasor diagram it is. So here this, if we observe the horizontal line, this is the phasor diagram of R, okay? And if we take this horizontal line and that vertical line downside, this is the phasor diagram of capacitor, okay? If we take the resultant of VR and VC, the resultant of VR and VC is total voltage is V. Here, pi is called as the phase angle between voltage and current. This is the total phasor diagram of RC series circuit. Now, if we take one parallel line here, this is the voltage across the capacitor line. If we take the parallel line here, okay, we will get VC. Why we are taking this parallel line? To form the triangle, we are taking one line. Okay, so it is parallel to this line. That's why the name of this uh, line is called as VC, voltage across the capacitor. Now, it is looking like one triangle, VR, VC, and VC. Now, let's separate this triangle. If we separate the triangle from, from this phasor diagram, now we will get the triangle like this. Okay, this triangle is having VR, the voltage across the resistor at adjacent side and we see voltage across the capacitor at opposite side and V total voltage. Total voltage is at hypotenuse side. Okay, this is the pi is called as a phase angle. If we take the formulas, V is equal to, we know that total voltage V is equal to I into Z. Z is called as impedance and voltage across the resistor is equal to I into R. Next, voltage across the inductor is equal to I into XL. Voltage across the capacitor is equal to I into XC. In this, Z is called as impedance. R is called as resistance. XL is called as inductive reactance. XC is called as capacitive reactance. You know I is the total current and V is the total voltage. VR is called as voltage across the resistor. 
VL is called as voltage across the inductor and VC is called as voltage across the capacitor. Now, we will substitute these formulas in the above triangle. We will get V is equal to here. V R, what is the formula for voltage across the resistor? I into R. Here, I into R. Next, voltage across the capacitor formula is I into XC. We will substitute I into XC here. Next, total voltage V is equal to what is the formula? I into Z. Now, in this triangle, current is common. So, I will take the current is common. Now, we will get the triangle is here R, XC and Z. This is the triangle. The name of this triangle is called as impedance triangle. Okay, this is the impedance triangle which, can, which is consist of resistor, capacitor reactance and the impedance. If we apply the Pythagoras theorem to this triangle, we will get Z is equal to under root of R square plus XC square. Okay, opposite side square plus adjacent square. Okay, and hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent square plus hypotenuse, uh, sorry, opposite sides square. We will get Z is equal to under root of R square plus X square. This equation we are getting by using the Pythagoras theorem. Next, if we see, if we apply the tan pi to this triangle, we will get tan pi is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side is Xc capacitor reactance divided by what is adjacent angle, adjacent side here R, Xc by R, tan pi is equal to Xc by R. Now, if we separate the tan, if we, if we separate the pi, pi is equal to, we will get tan inverse Xc by R. Here, what is pi? Pi is called as phase angle between voltage and current. Okay, by using this formula, we will find out the phase angle between voltage and current of a RC series circuit. This is about the impedance triangle. Now, let's see the uh, power triangle now. To get the power triangle, we have to multiply I square on all the sides. If we multiply I square on all the sides, we will get I square into R and here I square into Z and I square into XC. Okay, this triangle we will get if we multiply with I square on all the sides. Now, if you see the power triangle, we will get I square into R is replaced with P. Next, I square into X is replaced by Q. I square into Z is replaced by S. As we know the formulas here, P is called as I square uh, P is called as active power. The formula for active power is I square into R. That's why I square R we are replacing with P. Next, Q we are calling as a reactive power. Here, reactive power formula is I square into X, XC. That's why we are replacing I square into XC by Q. Now, if we take the total power here, S is equal to I square into Z. That is called as total power. So, so this is the total power triangle here, P, Q and S. S is called as total power, P is the active power and Q is the reactive power. If we apply the Pythagoras theorem to this triangle, we will get S total power is equal to under root of active power square plus reactive power square. So this is about the RC series circuit. In the next class, we will discuss RLC series circuit. Thank you, everyone.